morning my beautiful queens hello my sisters peace family i am on my way to work i'm driving so the camera angle is horrible and the phone's probably gonna move but i had to get this message out so as we know you should be keeping up with the news and things that are going on in the world around you the government shutdown um we're in a time crunch right now because things are moving rapidly the creator is speeding up events and times because we are in the end times and it is time for us as sisters as black women as melanated women to unite to get over all the petty stuff to stop all the ignorant stuff and to really get down to business okay and i said the other day that i'm done arguing with people i'm done this is a waste of time we don't have any more time to waste on arguing with men about why they aren't marrying us about arguing with men about why they want to be with white women latino women or whoever it's time to stop arguing it's time to stop being angry with them we don't have time for that crap anymore we have work to do ladies we are the first human being that was put on this planet by our creator and we may be the last who knows at this point the most important thing is working on ourselves improving ourselves and being ready to take action and handle business and when i say that i mean what is your gift what is your god-given gift this is horrible hold on what is your god-given gift that you were given by the creator every one of us has a talent i hate turtlenecks Every one of us has a talent. Every one of us was giving a specific gift. Some of us have multiple gifts. You know what I'm saying? But the important thing right now is that you know what they are. If you're good at sewing, we are gonna need people to make clothes. If you're good at doing hair and nails, we're gonna need beauticians and nail salon or nail techs. Um, if you are good at math we're gonna need scientists and mathematicians if you're good at writing we're gonna need people to get out newsletters bulletins um, instructions we're gonna need every skill collectively that we have as a people as females to run shit because right now the government the American governmental system is falling down quickly rapidly people are losing faith in something that they never should have had faith in in the beginning and once that system falls there has to be another system put into in, in place to replace that okay it's not gonna be easy it's gonna be chaotic and there's gonna be a lot of shit to do we can't be lazy we can't depend on men we have to start doing things ourselves if you notice history and human nature men follow women we don't have time to argue anymore the time is too short so we can't afford to waste our words our breath our our intellect our emotions we cannot get into an argument with men anymore they want to be me too or whatever or go my own way bye go away because we have things to do we don't have time to argue with you about why you're disrespecting us about why you're not loving us about why you're not backing us supporting us you know why you're not protecting us we have to give them something to protect okay and if you're walking around with green blue orange yellow hair why do i want to protect that i don't even want to protect that you know what i'm saying <coughs> excuse me but right now we are not being taken seriously we're being laughed at okay and we're all being categorized into one category it doesn't matter like me right now i'm on my way to work I don't have on any makeup you know not saying that I don't wear makeup I do but I'm on my grind right now I don't care about what I look like I'm trying to get to work and all of this mother freaking I want y'all to see this shit if I could turn the camera I can't but look I'm in traffic right now trying to get to a job that I don't like where I'm underappreciated overworked and underpaid okay I've been I've been working since I was I was 16 years old all right I've been married one time to a bum basically he was you know i don't even want to get into it but the thing is we can't focus on what the men are doing or not doing 
okay? We have to focus on ourselves. And we have to unite. We have to come together as women. We have to put aside the cattiness, the jealousy, the pettiness, and get together on a business-minded level. And we have to start getting things in order. Because obviously that's the only thing that's going to make these guys or whatever these supposed to be men get on their shit and do what they're supposed to do okay if you notice human nature in history men follow women but we have to give them a reason to follow us to listen to us to make sure that we are in our right state of mind and that we're going to back them and give them the support that they need in order to do the work that we can't do we do need men. We need them for their strength. We need them for their protection. Okay? Yeah, we're all strong. We're not we're not weak by any means, but we do need their muscle, their brawn. Men do bring something to the table. And it's just time that we stop arguing about what it is that they're doing, that we're doing, what they're not doing, what we're not doing. It's a waste of time that we don't have right now, okay? So, the quickest and easiest way to prove your point is to just do the shit. Like, just fucking do it. We have to understand what our gifts and our powers are as women. And we have to go ahead and initiate that shit. Because if we don't, we're going to be stuck here arguing about the dumbest, pettiest shit. And we're all going to die. Okay? So right now, I want you to understand and know what your special talent is. What your God-given gift is. <clears throat> and I want you to brainstorm. Get a piece of paper on your phone. I don't give a damn how you do it. Just do it. Write down what your skill is. If you're good at sewing and it's something that you like to do and it's something that you're good at, we're going to need manufacturers. We're going to need people that are um, fashion designers to make clothes for us. If you're good at writing, we're going to need business plans. We're going to need... Um, a lot of things instruction manuals we're gonna need newsletters um, bulletins if you're good at getting in front of a camera and doing news reports we're gonna need our own television news or or even just impromptu news um, casters we have to get things done ourselves okay and once we start doing things then the men will be like, hey, these sisters got it going on you know they need some help they need a cameraman they need somebody to help with their editing once we get our shit together and we just start doing it and we give the men a reason to say, okay, they serious right now. Let us help. They're going to be crawling at our feet, begging us to be with us, to, to see what we where we can put them in the station to do what they need to do. And then when the real leaders emerge, then they will help us to direct everything. And we will be submissive to the right kind of king. We're not going to be submissive to no alpha male that's talking about y'all females this and y'all females that. Who cares? What are you doing? How are you helping the situation? That's all that matters right now. Because 2020 is the year of good vision. Everybody's going to be able to see clearly. And if you're not awoke by now, please wake the fuck up. Stop hitting the snooze button. And understand what this game is, the strategic game of chess that's been being played on all of our people, our ancestors from the beginning of time, ever since we were introduced to a different people other than ourselves and recognize what has to be done. Now the decision of, of who's good and who's bad and who lives and who dies is not ours. We are not the ones who make that decision. But God damn it, we will be the ones that initiate the cleansing. And that's what, you know, it's a transmission that I'm getting. And I, I really need to get this message out because it just seems like it's too much bickering. And I'm so tired of, oh my God, they almost drove on the wrong side of the road. This is dangerous. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but this is how important this is to me right now. <laughs> okay. We have to understand that now is the time for action. There's no more time for arguing. Now is the time for unification. Now is the time for organization. Now is the time for everybody to get on their shit. Your homework, your life homework for today. Know your God-given talents and your gifts. If you have multiple 
you're extremely blessed but we need all of all of your gifts we need all of your knowledge we need all of everything that you can do to help is going to be a great um speeding up in our process okay and we only need people that are very serious minded very um goal oriented and very determined <coughs> excuse me guys very determined to see this thing through because that's the only way it's going to get done arguing is not going to help anything Sitting here complaining is not going to help anything. Covering up your natural hair with blue and green and yellow and orange and red weave is not helping anything. No one is taking us seriously and, and, and that's why. If you look like a fucking clown, you're going to get treated like one. You have to love, we have to love ourselves, okay? Love ourselves and then we can love each other and then we can get together and do what we gotta do you know what i'm saying and we have to all be on the same page at the same goddamn time all right research for today research john henry clark i think that's his name dr john henry clark i want you to know who he is i want you to pull up his lectures on youtube i want you to listen to what this intelligent man has to say. He's an elder. I believe he's passed on. But his lectures are so intriguing and so thought-provoking. And that's what we, what we need right now. We don't need to be looking at fucking love and hip-hop. Fucking cut on some educational shit. Teach your children about our ancestors that died for us. Do you think if, if Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, um... Elijah Muhammad, freaking Mega Evers, um, a whole bunch of people that died. Do you think if they were lifted up out of their grave right now and, and were put in front of a TV to see the state of, of black America and more than anything, the state of the black woman right now, do you think that they would be proud that this is what they died for? Hell, fuck no. They would be like, this is, I wasted my life for these crazy people. We are out here looking so stupid right now. And it's fucking getting on my nerves because I work so hard to, to make myself, you know, what I am today. You know what I mean? I went to college. I got the job. You know what I'm saying? I don't have the house and the husband right now because shit didn't work out the way I wanted it to. But hey, story of our lives, right? Black women who gives a shit. I'm still out here doing it on my own. I raised two black men, two sons on my own. I don't care. I'm not bitter no more. Yeah, I was at one point. We have to get over that shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we have to stop procreating with these bums. We need to stop, close our legs and say, you know what? Until y'all get on our page, everything is shut down. Reproduction is shut the fuck down. Because y'all, if you're not going to raise your son, why would you even bring him into the situation? You know what I mean? Why bring them into this rat bastard situation on planet Earth? Don't do it. Don't even do it. Anyway, I digress. But like I said, look up John Henry Clark. And I, I bring him up because I'm going to end this with a quote that he said one time. He said, we are the most powerful people on the planet. And if we were all to unite and make an agreement to all do one thing at the same time, on the same day, he said, just say if all black people in the world, no matter what kind of black you are, African-American, African, Latino, Indian, any kind of melanated brown skinned person, all around the world, just say we send out a mass text and say, hey, everybody, tomorrow at 3 p.m., everybody that is melanated is going to stomp their foot. And he said, if we all could just get on one accord like that for one time, he said, we would shake the world. And that is such a true statement, and I truly believe that. But we don't believe enough in, our, in ourselves, and we don't believe enough in each other, and we don't 
coordinate and work together. And that is how we have continued in the situation that we have been in for so damn long, the past 400 something years, okay? So we as women have to get the shit started because we're waiting around on men. I don't know what the fuck it is, but the shit ain't never gonna get done. And if the man start trying to do some shit, they're gonna kill him. So guess what? I got a download that it's up to us, but we have to work together, okay, ladies? That's all I have to say. I don't want to get in a wreck. Please don't report me for driving and, um, and shooting a video. I promise you, my eyes have been on the road 99.95% of the time. I know I look a hot mess, but like I always like to say, it's not what I look like or who I am. It's what I have to say. Have a blessed day. Love you guys.